crime reports, Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about? Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky... You won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... You humans are all racist. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed. But it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. 
What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. But you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Yes? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place and put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food, mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I need to talk to the Council. How can I get to the Presidium from here? Head through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shin Akiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around. I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? 
This isn't a presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. The CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. I need to talk to the Council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. The Council is lying. They're hiding information on the Reapers and blaming the Geth instead. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day.
This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships, allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional. And we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus and before them by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out with the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Udina's never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Udina's just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses.
And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Ashley Williams was on Horizon. She said she was looking into Cerberus. I know. I approved the mission. We had to find out if they were behind the missing colonists. I couldn't tell anyone without compromising the investigation. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. Never expected you to go behind my back. We didn't know about you at the time. And I wouldn't have told you if I did. What if the elusive man was manipulating you? Lying to you? The report actually confirmed your story. I still don't trust Cerberus. But they were right about the Collectors abducting the colonists. Unfortunately, Williams didn't find anything to convince the Council that the Reapers are behind this, or even that they exist. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce, the Keepers all... We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. This is near where we first met, Shepard. Fist and his men seemed so dangerous. We've come a long way. Don't know if that's a good thing, but it's definitely more interesting. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest, as the disease is now under control. The Shepherd Scholarship has gone into effect, targeting low-income children on Earth, where the most famous human in the galaxy allegedly had a difficult childhood. The scholarships have allowed several dozen young men and women to leave gangs and join the military or enroll in school. An independent inquiry is investigating a group known as Cerberus in light of charges made by one Corporal Toombs and testimony by an apparent Cerberus scientist. A researcher known only as Dr. Wayne has been promised immunity and has suggested Cerberus may also be tied to the death of Admiral Kohoku several years ago. 
The wreckage of the freighter Tur-Alan was found on an uncolonized planet in the Dranic system. Salvage teams reported no survivors. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. Subcommittee Chairman Burns thanked biotics everywhere for their patience and understanding and promised more help for those forgotten by the system until now. The Tyrian government is considering further reparations to humans whose ancestors died in the Relay 314 incident at Shanxi. The Tyrian government previously made reparations from what humans call the First Contact War, but refused to pay interest. The Tyrian hierarchy has supported improved relations with humanity since the Alliance's heroic sacrifice defending the Citadel from Saren's attack two years ago. Salvage operations on the Salahil system have been cleared. Operations had previously been halted after Geth activity in the area. The prison ship Purgatory has been destroyed following an apparent riot. Security ships are en route to the area to retrieve prisoners and guards from life pods. Serta Foundation is likely to close by the end of this fiscal year. The Foundation never recovered from a deadly attack by biotic extremists on one of its medical centers two years ago. An exogeny archaeological team has been reported missing. They were last seen in the Aea Cluster's Enoch system, an area of heavy pirate activity. Celebrations are planned across Terra Nova for the upcoming anniversary of the thwarted terrorist attack on the colony. Former hostage Kate Bowman is expected to read a thank you message to Alliance soldiers who rescued her. The Batarian terrorist responsible for the attack on the colony, known only as Balak, remains at large. Shipping lanes near Omega were recently hit by a series of deadly raids. Merchant fleets are being asked to resynchronize their IFF protocols. Shepherd Memorial Plaza on Elysium was voted this year's hottest wedding location. Under Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for Alliance veterans. Explorer ships have reported seeing vessels of an unknown make, but whose silhouette strongly resembles ancient Rachni ship profiles. The few ships sighted have been small scouting vessels that rapidly retreated. The Council has pledged a full investigation. Sources say that the Asari Shaira, more commonly known as the Consort, may be leaving the Citadel after years of bad press and rumors of intelligence leaks. Emotions at Shepard's rumored survival are mixed. While some are overjoyed to see him return, others believe his false death was a betrayal. All businesses using security mechs have been asked to check their systems for a potentially deadly virus that can disable targeting safeties and friend or foe identification. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. The recent attack on Horizon has other Council species looking to their own security. The Turian fleet is reportedly bolstering its crew complement, while the Salarian Special Tasks Group is reportedly investigating the colony attacks. Blue Sun's mercenaries in the Decora system took heavy losses fighting against unspecified criminal groups, according to leaked reports. A Blue Sun's representative declined to comment. Mech attacks have increased as a programming malfunction virus spreads. Experts warn of the accompanying danger of poorly programmed security VIs being overzealous in protecting themselves from infection. A Synthetic Insights representative stressed that this is a standard VI processing error, not an indication of an AI threat similar to the GAF. The Caden Alenko Memorial Scholarship has begun sending gifted human biotics to the Ascension Project for care and training. Alenko, a graduate of the controversial Biotic Acclimation and Temperance Training Project, sacrificed his life to help stop Saren on Vermeer. Planets in the Nubian Expanse have been experiencing drastic and sudden climate changes. While initial reports suggest this could be caused by a Batarian orbital mirror system, no such technology is currently located in this area. The virus affecting mechs galaxy-wide was evidently born in a Hain Kedar mechanics facility, the result of the misuse of faulty and recalled processors in experimental mech designs. Hain Kedar representatives declined to comment. The Council is preparing an investigation with possible criminal charges to follow. The planet Canalis in the Dorada system recently underwent rapid climate change. Then, just as rapidly, the change is reversed. A research team is investigating the strange events. Later today, we interview Councillor Anderson. The tireless former soldier has put down his guns to build bridges with numerous trade treaties. Tune in and find out what the man behind Commander Shepard's rise to fame thinks is the greatest threat to intergalactic stability. The crashed exploration vessel, Estevanico, has finally been discovered deep in the Terminus systems. As expected, there were no survivors.
Crews have been dispatched to salvage relics from the crash site for exhibition in the Alliance Museum of Galactic Exploration on Earth. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakarowart. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Fine, fine. I just need to pick up some spices. Amino dextrous and amino sinister, if you have it. You don't mix your spice corality. What cooking school did you say you went to? I don't go to cooking school. I just want something tasty to put on a steak. Why don't you just go to Fish Dog Food Factory? It's on level 23. Ask for their tummy tingling to chunk the sauce. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. Could I interest you in a Turian Esquerin sporting shuttle? Unmatched acceleration, peerless maneuvering. And like all Turian shuttles, it can fit a light mass accelerator cannon. Perfect for heavy traffic. I offer a no money down lease on my quality used ships. Ah, I know. Perhaps one of our light haulers? I have several Kowloon modular conveyors available. Very moddable, those Kowloons. You know what makes a ship, Earth Clan? It's the engines. I don't mean to brag, but the Borkat Combine produces wonderful engines. Perhaps you'd like to examine a ship with such an engine? Now, I'm hardly one to judge, Earth Clan, but you appear quite virile. I believe you could use a shuttle with seating for many bulbous children. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Hiroshima! You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? Mm, the meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. We have six kinds of beer on tap. We don't have a karaoke machine anymore. You do not want to hear drunk Elcor sing. Hiroshima! Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Sarinus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. Goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. And here I thought the Citadel was some sort of utopia. 
The recorded histories of all sapient species suggest that in every society, resources are not evenly split between members. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant... You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Now available on video, the abridged version of Francis Kitt's award-winning production of Hamlet, featuring an all Elcor cast. Nostalgic melancholy. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. A fellow of infinite jest. Of most excellent fancy. Deep accusation. Where be your jibes now? Your gambles? Your songs? Your flashes of merriment that were wont to set the table on a roar? And don't forget to catch Elcor Hamlet Live, an unforgettable 14-hour experience. Insincere endorsement, you have not experienced Shakespeare until you have heard him in the voice of Elcor. Now available on video, the abridged version of Francis... This Clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chit. You ran into each other outside the Serta Foundation. Is it possible the chit fell out of his pocket there? I guess. Sure, all I know is I didn't take it. Do you spend a lot of time at the used chip dealer? Yeah, they've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... Your pilgrimage isn't going so well, is it? No, I... I came here thinking there'd be a lot of work. EVA stuff, salvage, fixing all the damage the Geth attack caused. Everywhere I went to apply, sign said not hiring quarians, and the other people would give me mean looks. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. How does running India mean she stole your credit chip? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Quarians are only forced to steal when people like you won't let them have real jobs. And to think my taxes pay to support you here. Go back to your fleet, clanless. I am Clan Zora, crew of the starship Nima, and you are an idiot. It's not worth getting angry about. My brain agrees with you. My gut says I should jack his suit's olfactory filter so that everything smells like refuse. Remind me never to get on your bad side. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni-Tool can tell the Quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what Quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. She's not a vagrant. She's on pilgrimage. It's a tradition in which... Look, you can take your traditions and cram them. Every time a Quarian shows up here, it's trouble. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. This looks like the place. The Forger's thug should be inside. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Tupari, now available with dextro amino acids. You could really go for a Tupari sports drink, couldn't you? Tupari, now made with 10% real Tupo berry juice.
Tupari is made with no natural sweeteners. I knew a man who went three days without a Tupari sports drink. He got hit by a shuttle. Tupari, the taste Salarians have come to love. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like Tupari sports drinks blast of Tupo berry flavor. Tupari, it's good for you. Tupari brings your ancestors back from the grave. Nine out of ten Tupari drinkers recommend Tupari to their friends. The last one is on my list. We sell so much Tupari, it has to be good. Twelve trillion bottles of Tupari are sold in a day. Where's yours? Oh, that's right. It's inside me. Tupari, ten minutes of berry bliss for only one credit. Only losers drink Perigade. You want Tupari. Winners drink Tupari. I know you're weakening. Tupari is on your mind. Give in. Commander Shepard drinks Tupari. Don't you want to be like Commander Shepard? Commander Shepard is referenced under license from Alliance Military Recruitment Services. Wouldn't a refreshing, delicious Tupari sports drink hit the spot right now? Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mountains! Why don't you two find somewhere else to skulk? Just like that? You're not getting paid for this. What's the point of hiring protection if they won't protect you? We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. D yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. What do the blue suns have to do with this? They use his services to help their people infiltrate businesses and various organizations here on the Citadel. Bastard. He's using CSEC to help those scum. Uh, no, no, no. Well, not really. He got fired from CSEC a while ago. But he still knows the systems. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. I just got a refund in exchange and I was told to pick up a new army jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No. What do you think, Michael? Maybe the immuno booster? Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakara Ward. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you.
Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires a sari to work their stores. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station records show that you made only zero credit last year. If you need something to get you to your next paycheck on error, did not found. Let cause porn and payday loan can help. We offer you credit on the spot for personal and home electronic devices, precious metals and jewels, genetic assay data, and virtual intelligences. No credit check, no questions asked. All we need is your citizenship ID. Come down today. This is a public notice that Citadel Security will hold an auction of confiscated property in this ward on birth date, August 4th. 2185 at 08.30 Zulu time. Items to be sold include jewelry, personal electronics, private starships, cargo and sport-related personal shuttles, art, and antiques from various cultures. For more information, visit any CSEC kiosk or link into CitadelNet at keywords CSEC Auctions Zakara. Are you tired of paying the high cost of a decent extranet connection? Are you sick of companies that restrict your access to certain sites, cap your downloads, or charge outrageous overuse fees? Public access terminals are free, but prone to lag and signal loss. But there is a solution. With Genentech's patented technology, you can enjoy the same reliable high-speed access enjoyed by executives across the galaxy. Just plug our black box device into the data port on any public terminal and you're on your way to fast, reliable, and anonymous extranet access. At Ion Liquidators, we are different. We don't use high-tech ads that use your name, job history, and marital status to tailor a message just for you. I am Keth Mack, owner of Ion Liquidators, and I have only one message. I offer goods and services for less than my competitors. How do I do it? Foreclosures, bankruptcies, store closeouts, insurance sales, inexpensive advertising. Come to Ion Liquidators for cheap goods. I find deals so you don't have to. Your attention, please. Citadel Security reminds residents and visitors that heightened security precautions are in place for your safety. If approached by a CSEC officer, please be prepared to offer biometric and genetic data for identity confirmation. If you see a synthetic unaccompanied by an organic owner, Report to the closest CSEC kiosk or link into Citadel Net, keyword CSEC Nightwatch. Remember, we are all responsible for public safety. Shepard, we know times are tough. Station records show that you made only zero credit. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go-nav interfaces, anyway. 
You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why's the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. This should come in handy. I felt her hand go into my pocket. When I checked, my credit chit was gone. I didn't even touch you! Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for me. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a specter? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter, but I'm surviving. Good luck, Leah Bael. Thanks. Salarian 
survey ship, the Callan High, has been officially declared overdue after three weeks without contact. At this time, it is unclear whether the Callan High was attacked or suffered an accident. Turian and Alliance frigates are coordinating a search. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. The Alliance Fifth Fleet's tour of the Attican Traverse continues today with a brief port of call at the Young Alliance colony on the planet Chazka. Chazka's pioneer colonization team was massacred by the Geth two years ago. With the assistance of Asari Investment, the colonization program is back on schedule and accepting applicants. Welcome to Citadel Newsnet. I'm Emily Wong. Horizon has become the latest and largest human settled world to disappear in the wave of. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? I'm a Spectre. That is quite a prestigious role. It is my pleasure to extend the government employee discount to you, Spectre. Please, feel free to check the updated prices. Welcome back. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs outlets are owned by the Council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel Souvenirs Outlets are... We offer an assortment of decorations. Thanks for your time. Of course, citizen. You ever miss those talks we had on the elevators? No. Come on, remember how we'd all ask you about life on the flotilla? It was an opportunity to share. This conversation is over. Tell me again about your immune system. I have a shotgun. Maybe we'll talk later. What can I do for you? Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Varen, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits! Shepard, in my store! I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. Can we record it now? Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. What can I do for you? I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is. Selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship, the personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche, a small, tight-knit community. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface, that kiosk over there. Tell me about your services. 
We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. I'll be going. Good hunting, Shepard. We can use this. Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun, and you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. Copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. Hmm? Oh, sorry. I was playing this fascinating human game, Solitaire. Did you need something? I wish they still made role-playing games like they used to. These days, it's all big choices and visceral combat. I miss those old games, where you had to remember to drink water, and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. You can download a game free. The worst thing about Extranet games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto-translation. <laughs> I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game! You know anyone who plays that extranet game, Third Coil? <laughs> Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news, though. I know it looks like I'm not working, but there's only so many times you can sweep the place. If games were still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the racks or something. Do you play those human sports games? They sell well in the Alliance, and to Krogan. Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion. Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? Anata's Mortuary offers the finest quality burial robes, hand-spun by skilled Asari artisans. Anata's. We'll help you leave a good-looking corpse. In everyone's life, there is a moment when things crystallize. You can see all the roads that have led you to that point, and all the paths that lie ahead. For you, Shepard, that moment may be when you first sit in the pilot seat of the Arlos 2185 model Tenacond. For 500 years, designer Selea Kelpion has refined this luxury sports shuttle. Each is a unique masterpiece, hand-assembled by skilled craftsmen. Visit our showroom in the Presidium today, and perhaps you'll see that the path ahead of you will be traveled in a Tenacond. Mr. Shepard, a man as ruggedly handsome as you deserves the finest in biotic technology. The next time you're out on the town with Miss Zora, the new Sophist Biotic Amplifier from the Sarah's Council is the perfect accessory. Power, precision, elegance. It's not just an amplifier, it's an expression of your masculinity, Sophist. Konstantin Solikovsky once said, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but one cannot remain in the cradle forever. Shepard, in these troubled economic times, the one thing you can be sure of is that humanity will continue to move into space. Don't be left in the dust. Embrace the stars by investing in an off-world colony. 
venture capital is being raised for third stage colonization of Exogenicorp's Pharaoh's colony. This is the first opportunity for public investment in this ancient world, where humans live in Prothean structures 50 millennia old. Contact your broker for details. Shepard, could I have a moment of your time? I was just thinking what a pity it is that you can't enjoy the advantage of a true 360 degree holler projection display. If you were watching this on the new Monovi Avatar Wide Field Surround Vent Projector, you could see that there's a naked Asari behind me. Monovi. Because real life is surround vid. Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? I'm not as much. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Promenade offers upscale shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. Got time for the press, Shepard? Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerland News. I interviewed you two years ago, when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bat, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Chen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. And I can do for you? I noticed you're one of the groundskeepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind, where's the restroom? Those are reservoirs, the Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the wards. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Leosanese gift shop. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in? No, they purify it first. If some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Warian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the DeMaio flower that cross from the condo. They're coming in very nicely. What will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? I serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on, check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Easy enough. This is... It's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're Dextro DNA like me. If you are. It'll kill you. 
anything else? Let's have another one. There you are. Anything else? Not done yet. I'm impressed. I've never seen anyone drink three of these. Anything else? Hit me again. How about we mix it up a little? This is genuine Batarian ale. Uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Anything else? Do it. Okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincon. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Oh yeah, but more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. Your funeral, pal. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidium? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh. I'm sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. This is depressing. How about we find a terrain and beat the crap out of it? That always makes you feel better. You think there's any place on board we could buy a fish? They don't like live animals on the Citadel. Wasted life support capacity, they say. I can't believe there aren't any fish up there. It must be a mistake. Can we talk about something else now? This is depressing. How about we find a Turian and beat the crap out of it? That always makes you feel bad. There he is. Shepard? 
Don't just stand there. Stop him! Stop him! Run all you want, Harkin! We'll find you! Enemy! Watch this out. should slow him down. Ah! Nice. Come on. Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him.
attack overhead. Watch out. What the hell is Honkin up to? So, Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. We seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Saw something. He's getting ready for us. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You don't need him hurt to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. What are you gonna do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now. Work, but I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. You still planning to kill Sedonis when we find him? That's the plan. It'll be quick and painless, unlike everyone he betrayed. He'll be spared the agony of a slow death. It's more than he deserves, but as long as he's dead, I'll be satisfied. Garrus, you really think killing Sedonis will make things right? I know you don't like it, Shepard, but I have to do this. Is there no other way? Maybe, but this is personal. I'll pull the trigger and I'll live with the consequences. All I'm asking is that you help me find him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. this. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Why don't you just turn around? Nothing faster than to pick up on the call. Two 
heavy mech. Incoming. have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Hurricane. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Torian came from... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me! Uh, Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a bit. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from C-Sec now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah, I hope we could do this again real soon. I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sidonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. I'm getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? It's just not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? 
Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this? Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. I'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sedonis, I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night. Sick. And sweating. Each of their faces staring at me. Accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You've got to let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserve to better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Adonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray. I don't know what to do with Gray. You've got to go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you.
According to CSEC reports, Harkin was taken into custody, and charges are pending. That's the least that bastard deserves. Yes? I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I don't know what to feel about Grunt. My psych reports were for Oak here. We have no guarantees that Grunt is mentally stable. I get the feeling he just doesn't care about anything, including who lives or dies. Don't worry, Kelly. I wouldn't let him touch you. If there's any touching being done, you'd better be involved. Anyway, what's up? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. 
We never did turn it into our employers. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single Red Rose. It wasn't until I met Keiji that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. Keiji dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. That's my favorite piece, painted for me by a child prodigy from Elysium. She was the cutest thing. She was kidnapped by slavers who hoped to sell her on Omega. I wasn't about to let that happen. I set up an idea as a buyer's rep to get a special tour of the slaver's vessel. Once aboard, I freed the girl and smuggled her off the ship. She painted that for me on the way home. I'll never forget how it felt to watch her work. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. Keiji used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. People think he's a bad cook on purpose, like he's trying to teach them a lesson. I think his ramen is okay, but it's really hard to ruin ramen. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I can't believe the Collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans being regal, not giant... bugs. Who knows what the Reapers did to them. Creepy. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about tracking Sarah to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly, the Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? 
It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Thanks for the talk, Garrus. I'll see you later. Sure thing.